Ooh, spooky sounds. Anyways, how the heck are you guys doing, everyone? Pause here and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. It looked like I was like the skin of Alec for a second. Anyways, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I started caving a little bit during like a live stream and I was like, I kind of want to save this for a little video because I don't know what it is about like videos or Minecraft, but I feel weird about live streaming it. Like, I always feel like, oh god, this is just like content I could like be producing for for my for uh for YouTube. But I want to quickly apologize. I know that uh, I think it's been like five days of absence in regards to to Minecraft. Uh, the reason why that is was um there's a little bit of a misunderstanding on my end, and I thought we were gonna be doing or using the the new snapshot right now. But we decided to wait until we could have like a group meeting to see whether or not we could fully all agree on it. But yes, I am just going to cave right underneath my little little base here before we start um, building on it. I, honestly, mostly because I need myself. I need some gear. I need I need equipment. I like I have nothing. Like straight up nothing. So yeah, the absence did not mean I was bored with Minecraft already. I know some people may have been like, "Holy shit!" I guess. That was short-lived, right? No, that that's far from it. Like I said, I, I I was just kind of like waiting to see whether or not we'd be ex expanding to the new snapshot, but hopefully we will be because I did play a little bit uh, around with it. I I have heard though, unfortunately, that it has been running into some uh, issues in regards to how smooth it's been working here. So who knows? Maybe we may have to to wait off and and put it off until we do get a little bit more of a more reliable snapshot. I'm gonna take this down because I feel like, because I when I jumped there, I was worried I was gonna like even just clip it, clip the the lava with like my little toenail there. Put that water out so we can go cave and meow. Ugh. Well, good cave, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed. It. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye. I'm just joking. I can't do that. Here, lava. Ooh, I didn't see that though. Yo, let's stick this lava. There might be something here. I hear you. Where are you at? It's definitely this way. I don't know. I just don't know if it's up or down. Yeah, it's definitely getting louder here. Definitely getting louder. Where are you? Lava? I hear you. Anyways, um, speaking of live streaming, I think what I might end up doing is dedicating one day to possibly doing like an hour or so. Oh, that's right above us. Yeah, you see that? Oh, nope. Not falling on me today, buddy boy. Oh, that sucks. Oh, God! We're good. We're good. Ah! We're not good. I just want this iron. Please give me this iron. There we go. Okay, well, I thought that was going to be a little bit more interesting of a cave than this. I honestly just got to here, and I was like, okay, this is going to keep going. I guess I shall put off uh, going to cave. Because, like I said, I, I quite literally need everything here and it looked like this ended over here too didn't it <gasps> it didn't huh hello but yeah um I, I like i said I, I played a little bit of the snapshot i got my, i got a little bit excited i'm like one thing that i'm absolutely excited for obviously is the the pvp aspect because what's gonna happen with like dual wielding in that i have the slice idea obviously i do know like you know the 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 very basics of it of, as to what we're gonna do but what, what I more refer like what I'm more referring to is like how that's gonna drastically change UHC like once that comes out UHC is gonna be a completely different game um I know in this snapshot right now they haven't added any of the they haven't added any get out of here ow they haven't added any any shields or anything yet but oh god all right, all right. I think there may or may not be a spotter over here. Good God, we're not on single player. Oh God, that's just so loud. I don't know why that's so loud. 
Ow. If they're overpowering me, that ain't cool. Oh god, we're also gonna have to start like a little farm or something here because right now I don't have... I have three pieces of chicken. So that's not gonna last us very long. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. I think I might have to actually end up going to make like a little bit of a farm or something. But there's just so much iron right now. Like let's let's get it, you know? Right now we have that should be enough, honestly, to make our ourselves like a little bit of uh of gear. So let's let's do that. I like I like I said, I still I, I need everything. Because obviously when I take over a year long break and, and don't play, of course I'm not gonna have any gear. I used to have pause Zelda the bow. Um let's not go over there. Let's not go over there where that creeper was. But I had to I had to lay that to rest. It's not broken. It's actually in a chest in the middle of like an ocean. I there's one live stream where I was like talking with Ko and I ended up just like going out and uh Oh, is it raining? Okay. <gasps> I have raw mutton! Never mind, we're good on food. Okay. So let me just cook some of that, I guess. Actually, also, let me... Let me get this sorted out here as well. Uh, what we can do is we can make ourselves two Furni. No! Come over here. Yeah. Oh, did not mean to do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Guess we can take eight of that. There we are. Perfect. Uh, you know what? I don't want this to be raining all day. It's my bed over here still. Where the hell's my bed? Where's my bed? Yo, do I have any like, oh God. Oh God. Do I have wool? I don't have wool. <gasps> Does beef have a bed? Oh God, let's not die. Actually, there may be a bed over at Shree's place over here. I think this is Shree's place, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not mistaken. Oh God. Okay, so let's go, let's go grab our, we need to go grab a, a sleep, please. I don't even know what that grabbing a sleep means. Like, is some person just gonna be sleeping and we're gonna grab them and steal them? Oh, right, we're in the desert, Never mind. Good God. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, God! Zombie, no! Not ready! Holy crap, Shree has done a lot here. Okay. How you guys doing? You doing good? Yo, you guys are lucky I got some mutton. Otherwise, I'd be coming over here and killing you. I might, I might have to steal a cow or something like that later on. Ooh, I don't know what was over there, but it burnt. <gasps> it was a zombie. Okay. Well, thank God that uh, the rain is gone because that is an annoying sound. I know like when I'm in the cave, obviously I wouldn't have heard it, but I still hate it, you know? Every single time it rains on the server and I know, oh, Minecraft, it always rains on the server. I mean, I'm always annoyed by the rain. It's the most obnoxious sound. Don't get me wrong. I like it because like, Compared to everything else in the game where it's dead silent, I, I, I do like some ambient sound, but sometimes the, the thunderstorms can be, like, hella crazy. But, uh, yeah, so today, I guess, uh, I don't need food as of, uh, yet, but I still need myself some gear. I, I do want to get, like, a diamond, some diamond equipment and all that as well. Okay, we got ourselves some mutton. There we go. Get ourselves this here. Boop, boop, boop. And do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. I don't know why I'm making all these do 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 sounds. All right, let's go here. Grab ourselves yet another pickaxe, and uh, just grab that. Ah, we'll we'll be good. I twenty mutton chop. Oh, that'll 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 suffice. That'll that'll work for the entire duration of this uh little spelunking exp expedition. I was gonna say expedition, like exploration and an expedition at once, but 
That just sounded really weird. Hey, creeper, you're still here. You get out of here, buddy. I don't got, I don't got time for any of your shenanigans right now. Uh, I'll leave you. That place doesn't look fun. There's lava and you, and I don't want you to, like, come in and kick me into the lava. But yeah, um, so, I, I've talked about it before, I still really, really, really want to make a pirate ship. And, uh, did I talk about the live streaming? Right, I did it! Good god, like, I'm all over the place right now. I ended up, like, having an energy drink today because, like, it's been a very long time. And I was kind of tired when I woke up, so I was like, hell yeah, let's do an energy drink. And when you take, like, a huge long break from an energy drink... Bam, sucker! Kill them all, thank you. Oh! Did he actually follow... Oh god, yo, there's a skelly. Where you, where you going? I'm right here, buddy! Okay. Oh god. Oh, okay, so it kind of just looped around. Where the heck am I? <gasps> Ow! That hurt! Is it really this dark that it's just spawning all these zombies, or is there a spawner up here? It honestly feels like there's a spawner somewhere. Oh god, there might be up here. I don't think so though. It just it just feels like an an excess amount of zombies right now. Anyway, so the the live stream. What I think I might do is. I haven't quite set up a time yet, but I am kind of trying to work around it. And if you guys are okay with it, I think what I might do is live stream Minecraft like once a week for an hour or so and possibly put the, I was thinking of putting the, the VOD up on YouTube. <gasps> oh my God. He almost hit me into that lava. I wasn't expecting that. That scared the jabbers out of me, man. Dude, is this it? I, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there was a big path that I've missed. So yeah, anyways, I, I haven't set up a time yet. Obviously, when I do come up with the time, I will let you guys on YouTube know as well. And if you guys already are following me on Twitter as well, um, when I do end up doing that, I will tweet out that, hey, it's going to be Minecraft uh, stream going on right now. If you guys do want to come and join and hang out, feel free to do so, and etc., etc., etc. So you guys won't have to worry about that. Um, I usually do also end up uh, uploading some some videos when I, or a, a little video saying that I am live when I do end up uh, live streaming as well. So keep an eye out for that as well. Hello, hello, hello. What is this? This is a strange little looking corridor. Almost looks man-made. It's creepy. Maybe someone, maybe a miner. Maybe that skeleton was a miner who was mining and got lost and then that was the last place he was in and then he he perished and then fell under the spells of vintage beef and turned into a ske I don't know why beef is like turning people into skeleton like living skeletons not living well they're not really technically living I guess but you know what I mean anyways let's let's dig down a little bit here we need to oh look at this and where is our second pick there we go okay so kind of worked out Again, this place looks man-made. I don't like it. Creeps me the front door out. We need to find ourselves some coal. <gasps> Hello. There we go. Oh, crap. I wrote something down. So I've been trying to do this thing where when I think of a topic uh, in real life, I try and write it down on my, my phone. Because we were, uh, I don't know, I, I, I just, I always, I, I found one of my biggest downfalls of me recording was, I used to have, like, like one, one, one of the greatest things I, I love about doing, like, Minecraft as, like, a, a YouTube series is the fact that I'm able to sit down, converse with you guys, talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. I, I feel like I'm not, like, obviously 100%, 100% of, like, an open book. But I do feel that, uh, you know, I, I feel that you guys also appreciate the, the openness of me, though. 
you know like I, like I said I'm not 100% open about everything but I, I feel like I am more open than your average youtuber that you would find on on YouTube average youtuber yeah you know the average youtuber you'd find on Yahoo gaming like that doesn't make any sense your average youtuber basically you know I talk about anxiety problems I talk about depression just everyday life bullshit etc 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 and you know every once in a while it's, it's fun to talk about like just random other things as well but um so this mean the the night me and Andrew got back I know it was, it was last week um but like I said I, I wrote it down so I could talk about it we went shopping obviously because when you do go away for two weeks you end up coming back home to a bunch of food that's just kind of gotten gone bad that you forgot like I tried to remember to to try and throw out like all the the stuff that would perish really easily but sometimes you know you let things slip you, you just don't even bother taking a look at like the expiration date or something's just sitting like far back in the fridge anyways we ended up going out shopping obviously getting just our, our regular everyday food and all that except for this trip sucked ass like I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with like a shopping cart that would shock you every every time like okay I don't know what it was and I I finally got it um pinned down to the shopping cart but anyways, we, I'd always, like, I was the one that was pushing the shopping cart, so Andrew would never get shocked. But every single time I, I took my hand off of the shopping cart and ended up going, like, touching, like, like the fridge to go grab a yogurt, dude, I got shocked. And it wasn't, like, just, like, a little, t like, one of those, like, little zaps. It was a painful shock. And so I, I kind of started learning that it was from the shopping cart, getting a little bit pissed off and a little bit scared that every single time I'd, re I'd release my hand and go touch something that I would... I'd, shock myself so you know i started bugging andrea and every once in a while i'd go and start shocking her and everything oh god did she get annoyed by that so i got her to push the cart for a while oh it was terrible like the the entire shopping trip was just ruined by some static electricity built up by the the cart's wheels and it just going to touch oh it was, it was so painful but one of the funniest things happened at, at the I'm, I'm a bit of a tr i don't know i'm not like i wouldn't say a troll like to me a troll has like a negative connotation to it but at the same time, it, it doesn't. But uh, anyways, we were shopping and they had like these, um, I don't know if they're like what they were called. I don't think they're called golden cherries. We, we do need some redstone. So I'm going to grab this because I, I, I want it for my, my secret door entrance to the spire, you know. Oh, look at that. We got a, ourselves a carrot. So we're going to be able to start. What I'm probably going to end up doing actually is probably just honestly getting a potato. Potatoes are my, my favorite thing to, to live off of in Minecraft. Cause like cows are cool, but you know you if you don't if you don't accidentally make them have cow sex, you know they 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 end up getting depleted, and when that happens, you're like oh shit, so it's too late to start doing that. But at least with potatoes, you know it's a renewable resource. It feeds you quite a bit. It's all G. I, I like potatoes. Like I said, potatoes easily my favorite thing to do. But anyways, um, I I. I wanted to try this cherry, and I and I don't re recall ever having a cherry. It was not—I don't know—I forget what the name of, of it was. It wasn't your typically like regular standard cherry, like it was um like your red cherry. It actually was like a what was it? It was a golden cherry, I think. Although I don't know what it was called. But anyways, I didn't want to buy like the entire freaking bag, so I ended up. Uh, there's some coal. I was gonna say we kind of need more coal. I only have like six more torches. But uh, anyways, I was like, Andrea, I really, really want to buy these cherries. Like, I, I asked her, I was like, have you had these cherries? She's like, I don't think so. And I was like, me neither. I was like, but I don't want to buy an entire bag, but they look so delicious. So I ended up throwing a singular cherry in the bag. And when I got to the cashier, she just laughed at me. And I was like, I didn't want to, because like, the thing is, I didn't want to, I, I, I feel weird about like sampling fruit. Or like even just like you know any food like if you go to like a bulk store I feel weird about like sampling stuff so I usually end up just like buying a little bit just to like give it a shot or something like that so I ended up putting like a singular cherry in a tiny bag dude that cherry was like the most expensive cherry ever I don't know what it was it must have been like a standard price but I ended up paying freaking 13 cents for one cherry 13 cents for one it was crazy the cashier had a good laugh about it, though. Actually, there's two of them. The, there's like the bet, like the the person who put the, the stuff in the bag, as well as the like the cashier who is, you know, checking me out. Not not like that. Like, oh my god, is this? 
Is this Paz with his weird looking hair and his his emo looking glasses? Like, no, that's not what I meant. Not not check it out like that. Like, you know, check it out my my food. I can't. That sounds really weird. Like, oh my god, those are some right avocado. Like, no, not like that. The, the, just a just cashier, you know? Fuck, how am I supposed to explain it that, without it sounding weird? I think it's just me making it sound weird, though. Alright, let's continue on. Nothing. But yeah, like, I can't believe I bought a singular cherry. It was so good, though, and I regret not getting any. And I'm gonna probably be going in this weekend and going to grab some. They were, they were like I said, they were mighty delicious, too. I cannot believe that. Oh god. <gasps> Water! Please! Okay. Oh my god. I would be so sad. There's really nothing here. Like, shaman, dude. Is there anything up here? No. I was hoping for at least like a diamond here, this little, little cave expedition, but nothing. Eh, there's still, like, places we can go. So, I know Goo talked about, um... I know he talked about the charity event. Let me just quickly double-check Reddit. I saw it on Reddit. Uh... Where the hell is it? So I'm not being an idiot. Charity... Oh, God. Where's the charity event? Oh God. Anyways, there's a charity event going. <sighs> Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about it. I don't want to talk about the charity event. Just in case. But let's just say that uh, there is gonna be a Minecraft charity event th this this year again. So you guys can look forward to that. Yay! That's gonna be exciting. Anyways, it looks like I kind of ran out of options to to go into in terms of caving down here. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably end off here. Uh, what we're gonna probably start doing in the next episode is, we're probably gonna, like like I said, I kinda wanna go out and find like a potato. If not, you know, we can grow these carrots. We can live off of carrots for a little bit. I just like the renewable resources. So we're gonna start getting our, basically our regular home set up before we start building, uh, even remotely starting to build the, the the pirate ship. But know that it's gonna happen. I've gone caving, I've gotten some materials here. We got quite a bit of iron. None on me here, but we still have some upstairs, so we're gonna be good with that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I love caving. It's been a while since I've gone caving. So as you can see, I'm like, I'm constantly like running around trying to like, just constantly find new places that I haven't explored yet. And here we go, we've explored this area, that sucks. Ugh. Anyways, guys, that's going to be for it for me here on the Minecraft server. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk with you guys in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scouts.